Hey guys, come on in. Hey guys, welcome to part two of this stunning $499,000 home in Douglasville. Total custom job. We are picking up in the master bedroom. And yes, this is a covered sunroom. Very large covered sun, sunroom off the master. Imagine coffee and tea and uh, maybe a little yoga mat. Just it's that type of setting. But here's a little sneak tease of the backyard. Yes, that is a pool. Yes, that is a trampoline. And that's going to be featured in part three of this video, most likely part three or part four. We head back into the master. I'm going to lock this door behind me. And we're going to start heading to look at the secondary bedrooms up here. Over here to the right, you have probably what was a child's room. You could notice, again, the really, really high ceilings. Um, again, if you're not a fan of the paint color, that's where an allowance can come in that we could hopefully negotiate for you as well. You can see some built-ins here in the closet. You go down the hallway here. Again, looking back down the catwalk. Over here is probably your laundry room. And it is. Which is pretty spacious, actually. Um, it has some built-ins, as you can see. Lots of cabinets. So, you know my feelings on, on washrooms. It's the room you're probably going to spend the least amount of time in, so I would not invest a ton of money, you know, into it. The hallway closet, I mean the hallway bathroom. Let's get these lights on. Cultured marble, white. Actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. Notice all the tile work, the detail. Like a porcelain glazed tub shower combo. Again, looking down into your foyer area. And then we're gonna look at these two bedrooms. So there are four bedrooms up here. Again, the very high ceilings. Let's turn the lights on. You can see, again, if you want to um, paint it different color, obviously you can. You have a double vanity sink here, white cabinets, again, the cultured marble. Then a separate toilet closet with a full uh, shower tub combo again the glazed porcelain and then the other bedroom so these are called jack and jill the jack and jill bathroom where it's typically where kids um you know if you have a couple kids share a bathroom save up some space again a little sneak peek <laughs> i think i would vote for this room if that was one of the kids for sure with that view double closets all right, let's head down. We saw the first level. We saw the outside of the front. We saw the three car garage in part one. Now we saw the master and the three bedrooms upstairs. Now we're gonna head into the finished basement and then we'll wrap up with the backyard, which is super amazing. And again, I'm just gonna give you a little sneak peek from up here, just to show you the deck. Is there oohs and ahs? I know I have it. <laughs> I know that this is just gonna be one amazing house for you guys, and I just cannot wait to negotiate and get you an amazing deal on it. Fenced in yard, pool, four-sided brick, which is what some everybody wants usually can't afford but now you're under a half a million dollars that's that covered sunroom off the master all right let's head to the basement See, that is another feature that i know people if they can afford it really want pack it pass in through the kitchen all right let's head down it's beautiful glass door and now we're gonna head down 
Again, and what I love about the custom home like this, they thought of everything, the wide staircases. How many times do you, you know, go into some of these new home communities? Some of them are really, really good, obviously, but some of them on the lower end, they hardly give you hallways or doorways to fit furniture through. And you come down here, you have full travertine tile. You have basically a second kitchen down here. What's called like really a wet bar. So they had granite countertops, backsplash, a little convection oven. See that little coffee maker inside the convection oven and a small little refrigerator. Really all you need, whether it's you're entertaining, you have guests, um, or it becomes an in-law suite. You know, a lot of the people are taking care of their parents and grandparents. And this is a whole level right here. In this room, this could be a workout room. This could be another bedroom. Um, doesn't have a window or closet, but um, you definitely could fit a day bed, full size bed if you wanted to, a dresser. But I think it would make for a great home office personally. It would make also a great workout room, maybe change out the floors to that uh, rubber material, put some glass mirrors um, on the walls, and this could be an amazing workout room. All right, we're heading down here into another formal living room. Pretty much matches the space of the family room above. You can see there's surround sound and there's a fireplace as well. Probably personally, we just update the, either the carpet. I'd like to see um, what we've had a good time with is the uh, luxury vinyl planks. They come in really handy. And now with the pool back there, when you you know people are dragging in the, their wet feet, <laughs> it would be good to have, uh, I think a luxury vinyl plank would look really, really nice. Here you have another room. This could be a billiards room, TV room, another movie theater room. Um, you already have the kitchen, so you don't have to do anything with that, but this could just be really great flex space. If you wanna, I think they did have this. Um, the previous owners had this as their workout room. As you see the little TV in the corner. Um, I saw um, that they had like, um, what do you call it? Um, treadmills and ellipticals and stuff like that. As you head in here, this goes back to that area where the kitchen is, but look what you got, full bath. Let's turn the light on. And as you see, really cool sink, toilet, and a full shower. So like I said, you really could make one of these rooms. You could design it however, this is just how the previous um, owner had it, but it has a lot of great features. Like I said, the kitchen, this can be made into a bedroom or a workout room, whatever, however you want to do it. So that could be bedroom number five. You could also add some drywall and make, you know, you have pretty much so many features here. Another idea I had is, you know, pretty much drywalling, you know, from this side to that, just before that window, this could be another great master, second master bedroom suite, you know, or a big um, guest suite as well. Cause you have a doorway to go out back. And then again, you have another full family room on this side as well. So before I go to the last part of our video, I'll just walk out here to give you an idea of what we're gonna preview. In the third part of the video, and just notice how quiet it is, peaceful, you have a shed. One of the most well-maintained communities I've come across, and guess what? The HOA is only $250 a year, a year. So we're gonna end it right now, and then we're gonna go right into what everybody's gonna wanna see in part three, the pool. All right, guys, talk to you soon.